Checking in with Jim Bellin one final time. Hanging out at the SEA Culinary Campus, cooking gluten-free this morning. Gluten-free baking here this morning, and as always, delicious recipes here at the SEA Culinary Campus. A new session in full swing as well. You got some new second-year students here, so yes. it's busy, it's happening, it's right downtown. And we're pulling together some banana bread here this That's morning. That's it, yes. We're going to have some banana bread here. Um, so with obviously with the trick with banana bread, we really want a really ripe banana. So we got a couple different varieties. These ones you want to stay away from, okay. right? Let those ones go almost rotten on you, okay? So we got some butter and sugar that are mixed in here. Yep. And we're gonna add our eggs. Okay. So we got a little bit of eggs there. Just turn that in a little bit for you. So a little bit of vanilla. The wet ingredients yeah. first. We're gonna put our wet ingredients. We have our bananas here as well. What kind of vanilla is this? Just some vanilla syrupy. extract, yeah. Okay. And again, you want a little bit more of that liquid paste so it evenly goes uh, throughout the banana bread. Yep, bananas can go in. They should all just pour right on in there for you. Perfect. Oops. It's all right. A little milk there. Got it, and I'm making a mess here in the kitchen. Here That's all right. So we have a little bit of baking powder now we're going to incorporate. And again, our gluten-free flour. So we'll turn that way down there for you. Okay, now up at the main campus, you're actually making this? Yes, this we have a, a gluten-free blend that we do make at the main campus uh, that we sell. Um, we use a lot of it in our gluten-free products that we do at main campus as well. Okay. The recipe for this as well should be up online as well if anybody's interested in that. And this is the blend you've really adjusted it to? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. To make it appropriate. And we're constantly changing it. Before we used to use uh, brown rice flour, yeah. which we found uh, a little bit actually grainy. add a little bit of grittiness to it. So mm -hmm. we've actually taken that out of the blend. Okay. All right, so we've got that incorporated. Fantastic. And then what we're going to do so we're just going to bring that over here. Mm -hmm. And I have a little scoop here. Okay. And with the scoop, with the banana bread, because this banana bread really rises, rises what we're going to do is we're just going to fill it up about halfway full. And I have little tins here, right? So this way you can kind of make these little ones and then cut them in half and then the kids can take them to school or whatnot. Sure. And they're delicious like that. So again, those are going to bake for at about 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes for that until they're nice and golden brown. And delicious. You have a delicious banana bread, just like mommy's used to make. I love it. Thank you so much, Chef. Always a pleasure to be here at the State Culinary Campus. You guys, I have to say, I am stuffed. I've eaten <laughs> so much baking this morning. At least a full cake to myself. Awesome. It's a good day. I good Monday. That is the way a morning should always start. Uh, mm -hmm. Jill, let's talk about tomorrow's show. Tomorrow is all about nutrition. It is about nutrition tomorrow, and we're talking about vegan and allergy-free cooking tomorrow ahead of a workshop that's coming up here in our city. All right, Jill, I'm going to suggest cool. you walk back to the BT studio. Just yeah. digest a little bit. Work it off. <laughs> we'll see you then. You got it. Coming up after the break, we'll let you know what else is happening on Tuesday's show.